No, there was one time when I was in like year six, I think. So probably about 10 or 11. <laughs> I remember, I, there was like tryouts for the school team. And there was like a bib team and a non-bib team. So I went there, the headmaster's there, and he's like, you're on the bib team. I went to like the, you know, box with all the bibs in it, no bibs left. So I thought, fuck it, I'll just play along, you know what I mean? And then this corner's come in, and I'll back post, tap this, tap this ball in, and the headmaster's like, own goal. I was like, no, I'm on the bib team. And he goes, yeah, but you're not wearing a bib. So since then, I, did, I just didn't play football. The more pissed you are, the more you enjoy it. Well, basically, we just really wanted to play a gig, and we didn't really have a name. So, um, we were trawling through the back pages of the internet. Yeah. And we came across it. It sounded good. It sounded... We, made, we didn't want to have, you know, just a conformist name. We like didn't want the, to have the word the, the in something, it. Yeah. or just, you know, something... Yeah, I mean, initially we were called the Nactus Kunans, <laughs> but, um, yeah, we realised that was never going to work, so we <laughs> dropped it and it just became singular Nactus Kunan. We thought, well, the lizard is rare as the Nactus Kunan, only discovered by Dr. Robert Fisher in 2014. You yeah. know, once, you, once it's in your head, you're going to search us. And we're going to be the top result. We are the top result. We are the uh, number one we to screen on now. Crush that. Yeah. That's a good one. Second place.
ultimately we just started writing songs on Logic and we had programmed drums and then we didn't have a drummer and it became easier just to try and yeah. play live without drums. It was drums. more interesting to have, well, to not have a drummer. You can try more styles out. You never go out of time. Well, you don't have to wait for them to wake up and <laughs> turn up to your practice. It's funny actually because John used to be a drummer. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> he still has the traits of a drummer, don't you, John? Yeah, where are you, John? <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're going to get replaced like the drummer did. Yeah, we can put it on the track, John, so don't worry. We've got a robot <laughs> to play. <laughs> you can tell Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't uh, as prophetic as we thought it might be actually. We didn't even I mean it didn't really start out as a um, as a World Cup song at all. There was a certain emotion in like the guitar and all of that sort of stuff that had that kind of it was kind of hopeful but also oh. kind of a bit sad. And uh, there's a bit of disappointment in there, like the emotion of the song. Um, and that just and that phrase exit the group stage um, just kind of stayed with me because I just thought it was like almost really just mirrored like a night out in a way. It's an, an anthem for, for the moment you realise the party's over. Exactly, yeah. It, it's when you're in a, at a party and you get that feeling in the pit of your stomach and you just think, I need to go it's home really. Go. And it's like, you have to tell all your mates, yeah, I'm just gonna go and have, because it's, it's, that ship sailed, it's might gone. Just, might just bounce. Might just bounce. Quite beautiful in the sense that, like, something so superficial as football, as sport, can unify like a whole, a whole nation, and and give you this um, this hope. You know, you're all in it together, sort of thing. Wanted to capture that with Exit. You know, getting beyond yourself, believing in something, really wanting something, and having that like belief, despite despite the odds. Probably calm. Actual banger. 
next single. Next, that's our next <laughs> single, yeah. It's probably I mean, one of our, it's been our, one of our favourite tunes, and especially to play live as well. So well, that, good reaction. I think as, as soon as we started playing it live, I think um, we got a really good reaction from the crowd. Probably the first tune that we played that people were coming up to us and being like, oh, what was that tune you played? Yes. Well, I really like that one.
Oh, oh 